Maryland investors. A lot of you are coming to Ohio to buy rentals, right? Why are you guys coming to Ohio? Well, the pricing's cheaper. The regulations are a lot more landlord friendly, right? And today I'm going to be helping one of you get an investment property analyzed to make sure he doesn't overpay. Let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. The show where I help everyday investors like you invest your money wisely in real estate. <laughs> you see what I did there? I said wisely. That's a pun because it's called Holton Wise because my name is James Wise. <laughs> ah! I'm hilarious, folks. I'm hilarious. And you get the comedy for free. The comedy comes with the real estate knowledge, right? And I'm giving that real estate knowledge to my guy, Terry. Well, I, you got to pay for the real estate knowledge if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Terry's doing. But the comedy comes along with that, right? And if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Terry's doing, after this video, click the show notes below. Schedule a free consultation with my team. We'll talk to you about that, right? Because the property I'm going over is a property that you sent me, Terry. You're interested in buying this one. And I think the main reason you like this property is because you're looking for very nice, low-risk investments, and you want them to be built after 1950, right? Your lender uh, don't like old properties, right? So he wants something 1950 or newer. And you're hoping to get a duplex. I will say, Terry, that is going to greatly reduce the amount of inventory available to you, Okay. This particular property, it's a very, very nice property, but it doesn't really make a lot of money. I'm going to go over that momentarily. But what I want you to open your mind uh, up to a little bit is maybe a shift in strategy. If the numbers on this don't wet your beak, I think for you, the most profitable avenue of real estate investing in the Cleveland market based on the restrictions your lender has put in place would probably be looking towards single family Airbnb rentals because we're doing a lot of good stuff uh there in the cleveland market with those because we have a lot of suburbs okay that have a lot of tourist attractions to them number one number two you can actually get uh, new construction homes in the city of cleveland with a tax abatement but you'd have to increase your budget here i know you're trying to stay around 200k right so if you wanted those tax abatement homes you'd probably need to double that budget but with all that said before we even worry about any of that, let me talk to you about this duplex that you're interested in buying. Let me give you my complete unbiased analysis of it right after this. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. So let's pull up this duplex. Now, this is a very nice duplex, okay? This is a very nice duplex, right? 126-128 Antioch Drive, Illyria, 44035. It's been on the market for 29 days. Priced at $199.9. That's pretty darn expensive, okay? It's pretty darn expensive expensive it's like a side-by-side -side action so it's in a nice little owner occupied area right there's one of the uh, there's the unit in the back the other or maybe no that's the side door right that this tenant gets in on the side the other one gets in on the front okay but it's in a whole pocket of like single family homes where you get a lot of owner occupied people now here's the deal it's nice nice little area i don't think you're gonna have a hard time uh getting decent tenants in there right but as far as making a large profit i really don't see it okay they have it listed at 199 i don't want you to pay 199 but i think the cheapest you could probably pick it up for is going to be 175 right and the reason it's going to be 175 even though it's uh you know admittedly not going to make much money is because you have to understand neighborhoods like this they're not driven by real estate investors like you. They're not driven by cash-on-cash cash returns, okay? These are just driven by people who want to live there, right? So 
I know we get our tunnel vision sometimes, and we're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Why would they sell it for that? I can't cash flow. Well, they don't care if you can cash flow, bro. There's people that want to live there, right? It's a good in-law suite action, right? So you got to remember that. So I think the cheapest you could possibly have a shot at picking it up for is 175 Now, market rents at 175 would be 850 for each unit. So 1600 comes in, 19200 after fixed and variable expense estimates to have Holton Wise manage it for you, I think you'd be clearing about seventy five hundred a year. Picking it up at one seventy five, you put down forty three, bank kicks in one hundred thirty one. That would be a free cash flow after the mortgage and everything of seventy eight bucks a month, or an average of nine thirty six a year, which is only a two point two percent return, a four three cap. Yes, it's an incredibly nice property. Yes, I think you're going to have a very easy uh, ownership of the property, right? Like, I don't see a lot of problems coming, but you have to understand your cash on cash return is going to be very, very low. And in addition to that, what you have to understand is the numbers I just gave you. Those are market rents. Well, there's a little bit more. We have an issue. One of the tenants is on a lease, an oral lease, and he's only paying five fifty a month. So you'd need to slowly increase that person's rent. The other tenant has been there for 20 years, and they are just moving out next month. What work we need to do to their unit, I do not know, but I'm telling you this, it's not going to be as simple as we just sweep it up and you get 850. <laughs> They've been there for 20 years. The house is built in 86. So guess what? I bet you that kitchen, original to 86. I bet you the fixtures in the bath, original to 86, right? So you might be dropping 15, 20K into that unit. We'd have to do more due diligence on this after a home inspection to figure that out. So that would take your cash on cash return even further. As far as the $550 tenant, you want to just up their rent. I don't know if you want to go all the way up to $850 right away uh, because they might move out, and then you probably have another unit you got to spend $15, 20K, right? That's the thing. It goes back to us real estate investors, right? We look at these properties with blinders, think, oh, I'm looking at the numbers. Everybody must look at the numbers. That's not the case. The current landlord the situation with them is more likely than not they bought the house or built the house rather in 86 they lived there till like you know 2001 2002 and then they decided to move out move somewhere else and then they just rented it to people right they don't know anything about uh the real estate business increasing rents it's just something they had so they rented it for super cheap for the last 20 years because they didn't want to deal with it right so that's the situation you're in right so you're going to be entering a very nice owner occupied neighborhood and it's going to be a very low-key investment for you but the returns are going to be quite small. So let me know if you're still interested in buying this property after my analysis. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.